Hi, sweetie. You sure you want to do this? I warned you. And Amy Rose might just lay down and let Angelina have a clear path to the semifinals. Clearly not the case. Right. <laughs> the I think that money's uh, uh, null and void right now. And they charge in oh, and miss. Oh, someone no. that big that can take punishment and dish it out. And, yeah. and nowhere to go for Angelina. Angelina Love does not have any answers at this point. Oh, oh, God. Oh, they're breaking her in half. Oh. Oh. She's got five seconds. She's got five seconds. Four. Oh, she wow. better break Pulling it. Away. And that referee discretion right there. That's it. And, and good for Mandak. And she's not letting go. Somebody needs to break. Oh, oh, God, right on the arm! This is technician versus technician. It really is. Adora really focusing on that arm, trying to neutralize the oh. lariat here. Oh, oh it dumps her down. Maintains control of the wrestling for a cross arm breaker here. Has her up. Dumping oh. her out to the outside. She's giving herself a breather. Time to gloat a little. There are only five women left in this tournament following this match. There will only be four. Oh. Waist lock. A lot of momentum Adora. on the side of Allison K right here, but maybe making a mistake right here. Uh-oh. Breaks the hands instead. Wow! Discus Larian, nobody home. Oh. Throws Larian, oh. it. Hooks the leg. She go. Two, three. And you see, that is what it's all about with the television title. Oh, wow. I did not wow. expect that. Oh. Punch misses with the literal punch there, but it's in it. Dragon Lee, well, to take it to the outside. He does here. Oh, charging Thanks. in. Wow. That was a compliment that time. Oh, look wow. at that. Wow. Wow. Longs in that picture and possibly will be part of that oh, picture. And Eli Travis believes in the promise. Watch it. Up and over. Just kind of come on. Sit Rick Abadi. Boom out go the lights. Wow. And Dragon Lee retains. What a value. Yeah. I'm Quinn McKay, and we are still reeling from Glory by Honor Weekend. Today we'll have some exclusive backstage footage from those events, plus we'll talk all things Death Before Dishonor, which is live on pay-per-view on Sunday, September 12th. Also stay tuned because we have a big match finishing off this week's edition of Week by Week, as it's Dalton Castle facing the world-famous CB in our exclusive match. Now in the latest edition of ROH TV, we saw an absolute classic in the main event. ROH television champion Dragon Lee was successful in his defense against infinite Eli Isom. Let's go to Dragon Lee backstage after his impressive victory. Congratulations are in order for Dragon Lee, the world television champion. Big defense against Eli Isom. Uh, he put up a good fight. How, what do you think of him as a competitor? This is the most important thing. The important thing is yo. So look at me. I feel very happy. The champion is home. Lo importante aquí, dime qué luchador en la historia de Ring of Honor ha ganado el campeonato dos veces sin perder. Es el único luchador en la historia. Do you understand me? No. Ah, okay. Mm, how can I tell you? So, I'm sorry, but the champion is back. No translator needed on that one. The champion, Dragon Lee. Although he wasn't victorious, Eli Isom's performance against Dragon Lee has solidified him as championship material in the future. But next on his journey will be a one-on-one -on -one match a long time in the making, as Eli will square off with Dalton Castle live on pay-per-view on Sunday, September 12th at, you guessed it, Death Before Dishonor. DVD will also be the place where we will crown a brand new ROH Women's World Champion. And the semifinals are on TV this weekend on ROH TV. Both Trisha Dora and Angelina Love advance on the latest edition of ROH TV and they will compete in the semifinals. Let's hear from both Trish and unfortunately Angelina after their big ones. A hard fought battle in the quarterfinals of the Women's Championship Tournament, but coming out on top, it's Trisha Dora hitting Allison Kay with the Lariat Tubman. Hard fought victory. Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel validated. I feel vindicated. I'm feeling pretty on top. Looks like up next, I got Miranda Alize. We have met before. I'm a lot stronger now. I'm a lot smarter now. And I got Lariats to spare. All right, well, congratulations. Good luck on that match, semifinal match against Miranda Alizé in the Women's Championship Tournament. Hi. Hey, Angelina, I saw your match with Max. Are you all right? 
if you saw the match. <laughs> Do you think I'm all right? I don't, I don't know, that's why I'm asking. I was set up, it was set up this, <laughs> it are, was set up this way by Marie, I know it. Are you gonna be able to wrestle in the next round? <sighs> Even though I am hurt, don't you ever question me about that. Get out of here. The semifinals are set as it's Angelina Love facing Roxy and Trisha Dora facing Miranda Alizé. Let's take a closer look at both of these matches. I can't help but feel like this was by design, by a certain someone. And I think we know who that is. These brackets could have been set up in any way, but it just happened to be set up where either way, Angelina Love was going to be facing a monster, and I got Max. I feel like somebody has it out for me. Call me crazy, I call it a conspiracy theory, but I'm pretty sure somebody has it out for me. Now, because of Max, I'm injured, and I'm not happy about that, but I win this time. I'm in the semifinals. I get the last laugh. How do I feel about facing Roxy in the semifinals? I have been wrestling longer than Roxy has been alive. Just let that marinate for a minute. This is like giving me something on a silver platter. I love it. I love teaching these lessons and she's gonna be thankful for it. Roxy, you are my last stepping stone and I will get you out of the way while I'm on my way to my eighth world championship. My first opponent was Sumi Sakai, and I truly did not know if I was going to be able to pull that one off, but I did. Then, I was up against Quinn McKay, a spitfire, super talented, and that was one of the most competitive matches I've ever had in my career, and I pulled that one off too. And now, I face seven-time world champion, Angelina Love. She's been wrestling longer than I've been alive. So it truly seems like all odds are against me. But I also feel like it's been that way ever since I started wrestling. And I overcame every single one of those odds because the fans believed in me, because the fans named me the prodigy. And because of that, I have to win. And because of that, I have to beat Angelina Love. Off the rope, Flurry oh! of it! Could it be? Two, three! This has been a coming out party for Trisha Dora. What a win. Up next, I got Miranda Alizé. I understand the mission ahead of me. I understand that there's a goal for her too. I understand she's looking to knock me out. I see my future completed in advance, and I see that I'm the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. I'm going up against Trisha Dora in the semifinals. I don't know who needed to hear this, but that's the first girl that I beat when I got here. Now, I do respect Trisha Dora as a competitor, and I respect her ground game, her grapple game. She's a submission specialist. But look how quick I am. Look how fast I am. Can she even get me in a submission? I am an avid chess player. To be able to learn how pieces move and to be able to out-strategize your opponent. She's very, very quick on her feet, extremely agile. So for me, the technician, I'll be looking to pin her down. I'm definitely looking to submit her. You know, I'm thinking two or three moves ahead. I'm concerned about all my pawns, very concerned about all my knights and where they are and how they're moving. I feel very ready for anything. Trisha Dora is the first woman that I beat when I got here. And I'm gonna do it again. But this time, it is going to take me to the finals of the tournament, and I will be the next Ring of Honor Women's Champion. These past several weeks, we've seen a new era of women's wrestling beginning in Ring of Honor. Every match, every competitor, every win has been a step towards making history. And at Death Before Dishonor, we'll see who will finally be leading this division into the future. Will it be the Lucha baddie, Miranda Alizé, who's proven time and again that her actions are just as tough as her talk? Or Trisha Dora, a level-headed technician, always one step ahead, 
and a world champion in her own right. It could be Roxy, the prodigy, the youngest woman I've ever personally had a match against who's bested veterans left and right to get here. Or Angelina Love, a seven-time women's world champion and a huge pain in my ass, so let's hope it's not her. Also this weekend on ROH TV, we'll see a huge eight-man tag team showdown as La Faction and Gobernable battled Shane Taylor promotions. LFI set their sights on STP's six-man championships, and we all know the history between Kenny King and Shane Taylor runs deep. Former friends and partners who had a strong bond that was severed when Kenny cost Shane the ROH World Championship a few months ago. Let's hear from both teams now. In one way or another, for over a year and a half, I've been dealing with you ingobernable bitches. But this time, it's not four on one. It's not four on two. It is four on four. Roosh, Dragon Lee, Bestia, and Kenny. That empire that you built here comes crumbling down at the hands of STP. Shane Taylor, the last time we were all in the ring together, it was you looking down up at us. This is going to be no different. Bottom line, STP ain't as good as LFI. We're gonna destroy everybody. Perros. As I said earlier, we are still reeling from the two nights of Glory by Otter, which are now available on Otter Club, by the way. The main event of the weekend was The Last Stand, and words cannot describe this match. August 21st, 2021 will go down as the day that changed both Matt Taven and Vincent's lives forever. Let's go to both backstage immediately after the war. <laughs> Nobody even thought. Nobody even thought. Probably thought impossible. But don't tell me what's impossible, bitch! I am impossible! You would think I had everything, all the power that I could ever want. Look at me. But for some reason, why do I continue to walk around with half a grin on my face, man? I still yet have been rewarded for all the suffering I put myself through and all the suffering I put everybody else through, man. It's like looking down into a glass and it being half empty. But what better trophy? It's not a crown. What better trophy than the Ring of Honor World Championship? Dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me a second, man. <clears throat> Give me a, one sec. You know, I don't know if I have any... I don't know if I have anything to say. I... The worst part of it, I think, about all this is that it's, uh, it's real. This is the real end. <clears throat> This is the real end to 13 years of my life. Uh, when I met Vinny, I was just a, uh, we were just two kids just trying to figure out how to do this and uh, and uh, we had each other, that's all we had. And yeah, I mean, there's a, uh, you know, there was a crew of us and I got Bennett for life and stuff, but man, I don't want to, Oh my God, I don't want to cry. God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, there's a crew of us. Um, but uh, Vinny and I were always thick as thieves, man. And to think that that was the result of a friendship. <laughs> to think that's how it ended. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a big reality check for me and I don't know what's next. I don't know what's next. <clears throat> I wore that crown at Madison Square Garden and I thought that that was one of the best moments of my life. And now when I watch it back, I know that that crown's in someone else's hands. I 
I don't know what you want me to say anymore. I don't think I have anything left to say. Another story we seemingly saw come to a close was Mark Briscoe and Flip Gordon. Mark was able to get the revenge he's been waiting on for months when he gave Flip a jade driller onto a chair. Let's go backstage following the bout. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Kimmy Kane. I'm backstage at Glory Noy Honor Night 2 at Ring of Honor. Flip Gordon uh, just hit his head on a chair, and that was bad, and now this is happening. Can I, can I ask? Hey, wait, can, what? Hey, I'm a doctor. Just give us some space. Did I beat Bowling? Did I win? You did not. What do you remember? You did not. What do you remember? Do you know what day it is? I remember Sandman handing me a kendo stick, lights out. Where's Matt and Nick? Uh, they're gone, buddy. What? what do you mean they're gone? We always ride together. They wouldn't leave without me. Do you have any pain? How's your neck? It's really stiff. My head, my head really hurts. What day of the week is this? It's fr Friday. Let me check you out. Just follow this with your eyes. Any pain in the back of your head? Oh, my head really hurts, PJ. All right. Is this working? Guys, uh, guys, grab some medic medics. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. uh, apparently, really apparently Flip Gordon Where's thinks that it's 2018, which is, is kind on? of funny, but also incredibly alarming. Yeah, did medic, can we get some medical attention in here? On Glory by Honor Night 2, we saw the Foundation win the match against Violence Unlimited, but... After the bell, it was obvious that they lost the war for the night. A challenge has been issued by Violence Unlimited, so let's hear from them now. I'm Quinn McKay, backstage at Glory by Honor, night two, trying to catch up with Violence Unlimited after what they just did to the foundation, and there they are. Hi, guys. I know that typically you say that there is honor and violence, but what exactly is honorable about eviscerating the foundation after they beat you clean? Yeah, that's a beautiful word, Quinn. You're good. You're like a little dictionary. Evisceration. Take a good look at the results. We create them, okay? Violence Unlimited. Like I said, we're issuing a challenge to any pure wrestler, past, present, or future of this company because we are out to prove that there is not a pure wrestler in the world that could hang with Violence Unlimited. You heard it first, my friend. There is honor in violence and Quinn please why don't you finish it this is violence unlimited good over good job <gasps> thanks guys have a good night challenge issued and accepted on Sunday September 12th at death before dishonor it's the past present and future of pure wrestling taking on violence unlimited in a six-man tag team match John Walters past ROH pure champion LSG currently in the present day pure rankings and Lee Moriarty the future of pure wrestling. This will be an unbelievable match on a card headlined with the most wanted bandito living up to his nickname as he faces three challengers in a huge four-way elimination. It's bandito defending against Brody King, EC3, and Demonic Flamita. Also at Death Before Dishonor, the finals of the ROH Women's World Championship Tournament will take place and will crown a brand new champion. Plus, the technical beast, Josh Woods, will challenge for the ROH Pure Championship against the octopus, Jonathan Gresham. The Faction and Gobernable will challenge for the six-man championships and go to war with Shane Taylor Promotions. Two of the hottest recent free agents in the game will square off, but we can't announce their names until September 3rd for obvious reasons. And, as we announced earlier, Dalton Castle versus Anthony Eli Isom. Also, check this out. There's going to be a Death Before Dishonor bonus match on ROH TV the weekend of Death Before Dishonor in two short weeks. The ROH World Tag Team Championships are on the line as champions Chris Dickinson and Homicide defend against former champs Dragon Lee and Kenny King. It's Violence Unlimited versus La Faction and Gobernable, and the gold is on the line in two weeks. I'll have more Death Before Dishonor info next week, but now let's check in with Joe Hendry for Joe Hendry's 60-second breakdown. 
I'm Joe Hendry and this is the Technique Tuesday's 60 second breakdown. Today we're going to talk about one of my favourite new stars in all of Ring of Honor. It's of course Max the Impaler. Now since Max arrived it's been total domination and one of the key reasons is of course that wasteland finisher. And Max taking Holla dead to the wasteland. Oh my goodness. So effective and it reminds me of two moves I love which is the rack attack and the widow's peak. Now if you imagine the widow's peak you're suspending your opponent but in this move not on the back but on the shoulder and that's important when we also compare it to the rack attack because with the rack attack you're holding your opponent across both shoulders. That means the force of when you drop to your knees spreads across the entire spine whereas this move the one that Max the Impaler does is not the entire spine it's the center of the spine so when Max drops to the ring all of that force is going right through the center of their opponent sending a shockwave right up the spine wait oh, oh my gosh she is not gonna have a and back after this match wow. so effective so targeted if max hits you with this it is over i've been joe hendry and this is the technique tuesday's 60 second breakdown Remember, the ROH Strong Podcast drops every Monday, and the latest guest features Alyssa Marino. If you haven't checked in with Alyssa yet, you definitely should. She's an incredible interviewer, she's an incredible moderator, and she's the one that's been moderating the Beyond the Bells episodes that we've been dropping every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on our ROH YouTube page. ROH Strong Podcast host Kevin Eck breaks news all the time in his weekly X-Files article on ROHWrestling.com. Other articles include A Dose of Colemanism by Caprice Coleman and much more. Also, there's the best on the planet 24-7 streaming channel on the Stir and Plex apps. Plus, get some cool merch at ShopHonor.com like this mug right here and share your thoughts and opinions about all things ROH in our Facebook group and hashtag ChooseYourHonor. We have some very cool week-by-week -week exclusive matches coming up in the next few weeks. Wrestle Carnival in the United Kingdom is hosting Carnival of Honor on September 12th, and we'll be airing a few of those matches right here on Week by Week. Stars such as Doug Williams, Session Moth Martina, and Joe Hendry will be appearing, and we'll get to see their matches right here on Week by Week, and it will be so great to see their faces after all this time. Check them out at Wrestle Carnival on social media and give them a follow. Plus, we'll see a defense of the ROH Six Man Championships from Maryland Championship Wrestling soon and much, much more. There's so much in store. However, now it's time for this week's exclusive match. Let's check out the current rankings and then it's Dalton Castle versus the world famous CB. Like, subscribe, comment, and hit the little bell down below. I'm Quinn McKay and I'll see you next week on Week by Week. Welcome everyone to this Ring of Honor week by week exclusive. Ian Rick Obani, Caprice Coleman, and we're joined by the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper, for this big exclusive bout. Look at this. This is a week by week exclusive match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, the Scott of Trenton, New Jersey, weighing 148 pounds, world famous CB. And there's world famous CB, and here is Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Cohen, Dak Draper. Dak, you're out here tonight, your associate. Dalton Castle competing against world famous CB here. Oh, yeah, I'm really excited to watch Dalton. Dalton is. Uh, 
He's putting the company on his back tonight. He's very tired because of how busy he is. He keeps saying he's busy. He's busy, but Caprice, what is he? What is he busy with? He gave, he gave me some dates and locations. I don't even. I don't know if these things are real. Money, uh, for for space, or space, a fondue fundraiser for space. Yeah, that's very important. For it was. It was great last night. We were there until the wee hours of the morning. It was. Uh, the fondue was great. My, mine was solidified. He brought it to me in the car, but it was it was phenomenal. So how do you how you get it? Space. What? It, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta watch this. Well, certainly no shortage of pizzazz here in Baltimore. Dalton Castle a few weeks ago coming up a little bit short at best in the world with Jack Draper and Eli Isom. You get a load of His this. opponent. Can you see all this? Wrestling out of Catalina Island. Weight 218 pounds, Dalton Castle. But Dalton's a man, Dak Draper, that he says he wants to be the most entertaining man on television. His spiritual guru, David Arquette, his mentor, guiding him in these elements. You know, you can see it here, too. He's bringing the drama right now. World famous CB had a great entrance. And then look what Dalton did to what Dalton did to one-up it. Well, CB. You know, I was at the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs game a couple of weeks ago. He threw up the first pitch. He had the fans enthralled. Dalton Castle, though, <laughs> trying to wrestle people he feels has pizzazz also. Wants to be the most entertaining man on television, yeah. on digital media here on Week by Week. Yeah. Well, of course he does. Look at him. He's spent all this time with Dak Draper. He's helping to bring the drama to uh, Ring of Honor. So you're buying this stuff. Well, yeah, we're, we're great for, for associates. Oh, okay. We're great associates. Now being undressed here, I remember what a struggle it was to get the t-shirt off a couple of weeks ago. And look at the improvement now. He's old. They stopped going cute. Always. Does he actually feed those? I hope so. Okay. Let's make this quick. Does he take them everywhere y'all go? Uh, most places, yes. Zucchini festival. Looking for the biggest zucchini of all Middle Tennessee, and I mean, let's go. I mean, this is important too, but. And he says he's exhausted. He said that he's, yeah. he's sacrificing, this is a quote, he's sacrificing himself. He's willing to jeopardize his own career against Cheeseburger based on that, that space, that space fondue festival. Oh, I'm not. It was, it was, it was totally worth it. It was a beautiful festival. How do y'all get the money there to space? Um, you just, you just send it to space. You just send it. That's all you need to do. Because if we don't have space, what do we have? Oh, oh. How, do, how do I sign up to be a sender? I just want to a see sender. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. Dude. Is Dalton Castle? Is he trying to get out of this match? What is he doing here? I'm ready. I've been ready. Well, he's very busy. So, well, the bell rings, and Dalton Castle is in the world television title rankings. He has his sights set on Dragon Lee. CB has his sights set on Jonathan Gresham in the peer division. Interesting interdivisional matchup here. He doesn't like to be looked at. He doesn't let the baby chickens look at him. Dak, you like that underhook? It's really good. I like it a lot. Are you kidding me right now? What? Dak, you're, yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, that was good, but it shows he, he respects my ability as well. And uh, I agree that it's, it's a good give and take. I, I agree that he is one of the most entertaining wrestlers I've ever seen. Yeah, and I agree with a lot of what he says. It's and all that. It's just, it just, it's just different hearing it from you, that's all. Break, and he's Go moving in a direction I don't like here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be real honest, Caprice. He seems like he's he's almost tormented. He's almost got that tormented artist syndrome. You see the wheels start to go closer and closer to the edge, laughing seat. maniacally on, at things Smith, that aren't a joke, that aren't, that aren't funny. And he said he wants to give him a hug, and then he's laughing at him, and he tied him up in the ropes. This is do you, unusual. Do you, do you not like the direction because you're afraid of how entertaining he's becoming? I don't think it's entertaining. I'm concerned for him. Well, some of the most. Yeah. Oh, into the corner, nobody home. Yeah. And world famous CB, oh, the chop block. That, see yeah. That? See that? As long as you can bring it home, man. Some of the greatest artists we know have problems. He's not too busy to block that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, but CB connects on that one. CD continues to go to a mass, man. He's continuing to improve his body. Damn it! Blocks with the miss with the backhand, and it's a chop from CB, and another connects. Don't create space off the ropes. Charging in, nobody home. Drop down, catches Castle. Successful drop down. And how often do you see that? That speaks to the mental aptitude of CB. 
world famous indeed, competed in the Tokyo Dome, Madison Square Garden. This guy's built different, He's shown it here today against former world champion, a man. He has the elbow trapped. Looking for the La Escalera. Dalton has him right where he wants him right now. Tied up in the ropes. It's all part of our plan. Our, oh, well, your plan. Dalton's plan. We speak in I French helped. now. I helped. Okay. You, it, he doesn't talk the same way about you that you talk about him, Dak. You know oh, that? Oh, oh, come on. It was not a pure match. People want and if it was, you get one. Excitement, Todd. I'm excited. Charging in, CB, big boot here. First time ever about between these two. Second rope on the inside, caught. And there's the power and the strength. Uh, the man who has Dragon Lee in his sights that world television title in his yeah. purview. Oh! Ooh. That's all I need to see, though. When you have somebody yeah. that wants to entertain, that wants to bring pizzazz, and they're still bringing the fire with the wrestling, what, what else can you ask for, man? Dog, to me, is a complete package. Yeah. Look at that hip toss using the knee. And CB's getting there as well. Yeah, of course. But like I said, look at Dalton's chest. Dalton's chest. Oh, that's blistered. CB, man. That's CB. He's not afraid to take it, and that's what I like about I CB. CB. He's down right and now, but we've seen the out. heart of this guy. We've seen him that's successful in the pure division and the pure gauntlets. He's going to bring First it to time Dalton. I got deck. How much time? There's no time. All the time you need. You know, oh, see, I love here's, this. Here's a page yeah. out of Dak Draper's playbook. Ooh, that gut wrench. See, we just we raise money for space together. We do gut wrenches. You got anything exciting? All time, all, all Fondue kinds of parties. Fondue you guys eat parties. You guys eat space ice cream too? Is that is that what I'm gonna find out next? Freeze dried ice cream. You know, the fondue was kind of similar when I got it. And this great grip, this is a body lock. He debuted that against Evil, defending the title against Evil in the UK. That's when this strategy came to be, but it's CB. Oh! That's right. Oh, popping wow. the hips oh, up and over. I promise you, man, Dalton Castle has, he can adjust those hips. He get them lowered, and oh, you just get ready for the ride. What is this? Where is he going? He's, he's busy. He's so, got places to be. Nothing against CB. Okay, now. But you're giving him more opportunities than he needs right now. Well, Todd's starting to count. He's got 20 seconds. This is how you bring the drama. The, what drama? He, he's leading. He's got 20 seconds for Cabana. Chris, I'm going to ask you a question. He's a maniac. That's for sure. And he was dancing like he never danced before wow. as he delivers on CB. Cover two. Just a two count there. Wow. Wow, this is insulting cool. to me. Oh, this is insulting. CB is, is in the, the pure ranks. He's been in the pure ranks. And he, he gave him 20 seconds to recover there. 10 seconds to recover. He said no. He's trying to toy with him. He's trying to make a mockery of this guy. Are you insulted by entertainment? Insulted by fun? Drama? I don't see, I don't see fun in this. Well, you better get your glasses checked then. As he's headbutting. Here's the deal. If you underestimate Cheeseburger, he's shown time and time again that he will beat you. So as long as Dog and Castle keep it under control, it's oh. different, but uh, CB's not going to let that last for long at all. Well, of course, Dalton can keep it under control. Look at how he controls the baby chickens. Yeah, it's different. Right now, he's got world famous CB in his control. Big scoop and a slam, just putting him wherever he wants. In this interdivisional match, this interdivisional matchup, the TV titles and pure rankings colliding here as Dalton Castle colliding burgers back with the match. So if these chicklets ever grow up, do they become peacocks or do they just become chickens? I'm just curious. Uh, I think they become a uh, pea chicken. It's a mix between the two. Got you. Shot to the midsection there. Berger reestablishes a vertical base, but sent right back down to the map. So is it daddy a turkey? Oh, come, what? come on. There's a match going on. What? Yeah, that's a little too much. He's got He's things to do. Way. The man has things to do. Hey. What Dalton, are you, what is, you're looking wait, great out there. What? I mean, I'm giving, giving him everything I got. And he's giving me nothing back, guys. Right. I mean, I feel like we're losing a lot of viewers. Yeah. Well. I'm going to get him fired up. What do you think? What do you think? This is let's, a, let's, get, let's get the baby chickens. Get their thoughts. Let's, let's get them to do something big. Yeah, that's what something I big. I like that idea you thought of on your own. All I did. Thank you. You know what? He's going to get that you're guy. The land. Go he's slaughtered. He's got to be careful here, Berg. No, they'll be fine. They're. Okay. I see them all the time. Oh, okay. There's going to be one missing now. There are plenty of them. There, there are more where they yeah. came from. Okay. We are up to 10 here. Ring of Honor, we have a 20 count. Breaks the 20 count. 
Can you imagine being CB and waking up and seeing these guys clap? Right. And Berger trying to fight out. Oh, double leg from the back. Yeah. And Ber CB is going to fight. Yeah. CB has no time for entertainment. If he wins and if it's entertaining, that's fine. But CB wants to win the match. Oh, big boot. Gut wrench again. Oh, and this is this is really Whoa. straight out of the playbook of Dak Draper. Right. CB Good. has done it. Come on, up top. Let's go see the people. Let's go the see the people. He, he's delusional. What? He, he, he's he, seeing the people. I, I think I mean, he's this got is a screw loose, man. This he, is. He's gonna find them. This is clearly being done for the safety of our audience. We'd love to have it fans back. But we're, we're not hiding anything. This this is a closed set. We right, are taping right. week by week. We are we are filming television. Well, whether this, whether these guys are hypnotized, whether there's one person here or 1,500 people here, Dalton is going to be the same. Well, you can't imagine that happening with 3,000 people in the arena. That's actually pretty there cool. Go. There we go. There it is. There it is. Let go. I'm a white guy. I'm a white guy. I got a belly full of fine dudes. Baby chickens need to speed up. Looks like only one of them has made the journey. But that Next. gives an opening here for CB. And CB, you just gave him, you gave, you gave a world-class athlete 10, 15 seconds there, Caprice. Right. Well, he's going to find out it's not what you do with CB. Charging in, and nobody's home! And Castle yeah, no. eats a post to the shoulder. Right. And that's why you don't mess with CB. I hope one of those baby chickens is first aid training. What? I believe one of them is first aid trained. Okay. You can help him. Ducks the right. CB off the ropes. Caught by Castle. Whoa! DDT plants Castle! And that's the DDT that CB needs. Hooks the leg! Just a one count there. CB yeah. needs to I focus and try to put him away. I think if he tries oh to put him away, Dalton's going to realize he's in a real he fight. And he's going to stop all this playing around and take it more seriously. Like okay. It's very worrisome. Dalton's too tired to be getting DDTs like this. Well, he shouldn't have been at the fondue party. Off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Space has enough money as Dalton Castle goes to the outside. The thing about space is it's so vast, it can always have more money. Oh, see? Oh. Just make sure you get me signed up for being a money collector for the space thing. Okay. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll volunteer. Burger shoved yep. off. Ducks the clothesline, ducks another, and out goes Castle! Onto that concrete floor! Todd is keeping the count going. We are up to eight. There's a 20 count here in Ring of Honor. There's a time where the game stops, and I think this is where the game stops. Don Castle's realizing that he's in the fight. This is not good. And maybe he should have got some sleep. Maybe he should have prepared for a guy that's wrestled in the Tokyo Dome no numerous times. You do this on my own. Beloved around the world. When you're so busy, you don't have time to prepare. You don't have time to He's at 14. All you have time to do is fundraise. We're going to be tired. Well, what's his bread and butter? Is it being entertaining or is it being a wrestler? How did he get his fame and fortune? As Burger! I think that's up for debate. Planting Dalton Castle. Finding fame and fortune on the outside. If he gets him in the ring and tries to pin him, he might have a pinfall. He took that on the outside of the ring. And CB with a shot here yeah. to pick oh. Dalton Castle. Two. Two. Ah. And it's pure rankings versus world television title rankings here in our week-by-week -week exclusive. CB has turned the tide. Planet Dalton Castle gets a two count for the first time in the match. He's loading it up, Caprice. He's looking for the show tape pop strike. It will knock you right out. Oh, caught by Castle. Back elbow. Close line sends CB down. And he's looking for here. air. Come on. And he's, he scared the chicklets into submission there, the pink peacock. I wouldn't say that they're scared. I'm busy, you jerk. They're enthusiastically excited. Off the ropes. Don Castle has him. Bang a rang. Stacks him. Two. Three. The winner of this match, Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle with places to be, gets the victory over CB. A huge win for a man on a mission in the television title ranks. Dak, thank you so much for joining us as Dalton Castle is heading off to, to space, maybe. We appreciate your time, and we thank you for watching. For Dak, Caprice, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Happy wrestling, everybody.